I started teaching my class here. And shortly, maybe a month later, I was diagnosed. And so and it just happened to be, everything happened to be right across the street from each other. I got very sick during a mammogram, had to be rushed to ER. And from that point, I, my body became septic. I had to spend four days in the intensive care dealing with the sepsis before they could go and do anything. The oncologist sort of comes into the middle of the equation. That's, you know, one of the things that's so special about Memorial Hermann is that there's so much guidance for the breast cancer patient even before they meet the oncologist. And so she had already been through the Babetta Lindig Breast Cancer Center and she'd had a mammogram, she'd had a biopsy. She knew that it was breast cancer, but Mia was absolutely game. I mean, that's like, that is the biggest thing that Mia brought to the table is her A game. I just started teaching these classes. I had invested in these boots and I'm gonna continue to teach. That was my decision that day. Chemotherapy can take a lot out of you and it can take sort of the life force out of you. It's not something that we can measure with our labs or with our scans or with our studies, but it's something our patients feel. And one of the ways that we can keep up that life is with exercise. You know, I had to slow some things down, but it wasn't like I came to a complete halt with anything. And I think that came from being there and seeing a lot of people who were survivors. Because what you see on television is totally different from what you see actually being there. There's a lot of people who just have a normal life. And that really, if anything su surprised me and motivated me, it was that. A 3D mammogram, especially for somebody who is young and who has dense breasts, can be a very important step to diagnosing a treatable and potentially curable breast cancer. Because I was diagnosed early and I was had the opportunity to probably do a lot of things that my grandmother didn't have that, who didn't have 3D. That gave me my life, that gave me what I have now. My advice to women who have been recently diagnosed is to get up, get on, and get over. And that means to become engaged and educated to make sure that you know that this is not the end. You get a little bit behind, you get a little bit down, but you know that there is something better waiting for you on the other side of this problem. I'm not just a survivor, I'm a thriver. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to move even further and further along with my life. Your survivorship just begins when the diagnosis of cancer happens and you're a survivor forever. And so we celebrate that every year. My name is Mia. I am 49 years old. I was diagnosed on my birthday, December 7, 2015, and I'm a thriver.